everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is max um go check out my channel go check out some of my other videos uh if you like what you see leave a like make sure you subscribe and comment down below whatever you want to see from me okay so on to today's video uh today is going to be an apartment tour my first apartment at 18. so where am i going with this no idea like I, I love it here at least using the litter box okay she's done so now that it fucking stinks in my apartment yeah that's the video so we're gonna i'm just gonna give you an apartment tour daily don't mess with the tripod i'm gonna start from the front door and make my way all the way to the back we're just gonna see what happens so into that Okay, so this is the front door. Um, if I'll get out of the way. So this is basically just our entryway. Um, obviously we have the door. We have the M and the S for Max and Sam. Uh, we've got some papers up here that I just flipped around. We, our door's metal, so we can magnetize things to them. Uh, so I don't forget them. Uh, and then over here we just have our keys. Um, we have a mail organizer that we absolutely don't use. Uh, it's just kind of a catch-all at this point. And then below here, you can't really see, but I do have a table with a bowl, again, the catch-all thing. And then we have some coin jars where we collect all of our coins and change. Um, so I'm going to give you an up-close on that really quick. And then we're going to head into the living room. And then down here, we also do have this rug. We usually keep a fan here. And we also have this other rug that we don't use that we just roll up and put underneath the door just to kind of block the wind when it's cold. From the entryway, if you turn directly to your left, is what opens up into the living room. So I'm a bit orange at the moment, uh, just because the one light that we haven't changed to white light um, is the dining room, and that's directly opposite of the living room, but we'll get to that in just a minute. You'll just have to ignore some of the bad lighting, especially because the windows all the light is coming this way but anyway this is the living room so for the living room since it's a little big i'm going to actually grab the camera and show you everything um that way uh just because the tripod can't really catch anything and it's hard for me to show you specific things uh without showing you showing you so i'm gonna hold you now i won't drop you i promise okay so starting on the side closest to the door we have our couch we do have it kind of catty cornered um just because I, we like the feel of that a little better we did have it flat against the wall when we first moved in um but it just it just didn't work out and we just really didn't like it it felt too like mundane not mundane but it just felt too i don't know i guess boxy we wanted some dynamic flow um to contrast and like you know whatever the shit that you do so anyway here's our couch we actually got this for free um, and it wasn't just given to us if you want to know about that leave a comment down below I'm gonna do a video on all the free shit that I get or have gotten and how you can do it too it's really not that hard but if you want to know how I got this couch for free and a few of the other things I'm gonna mention in this video leave a comment down below let me know what if you want to see that video or not so obviously we have the couch here going directly past the couch that's the word we have a little side table right here um again this kind of becomes a catch-all table we don't really use it um that often i just have some books over there a few candles and everything a few decorative pieces right there we keep the little table for the couch just because we are on our laptops quite a bit especially me with editing so it's good to have that handy and directly in this corner i keep the record player you'll have to mind my other tripod i thought i was going to use that one ended up using that one but this is the record corner uh we don't really use it that often we just like the look of it. I was starting a record collection, as you can see right down there. But, um, you know, records cost a lot of money. All right, so on the wall, I have a car hubcap. No, I didn't steal it. I found it on the road. And no, it's not the only one in the house. And then I have just a few things. Uh, my boyfriend's tassel for graduating. 
Um, we kind of put it up there for, for both of us because I didn't go to my graduation. But, and then we have Trumpet 21 uh, and one of our show shirts. Um, we both went to marching band, both attended marching band, so um, I made wall art out of some of the shirts and I'm gonna do the rest. If you wanna see how I made these in a video, um, let me know down in the comments below. Um, it's fairly easy and I did it with just the shirt, cardboard, and a stapler. I also have a wolf picture and I should probably address this. These are outdoor lights um, with Christmas bells on them. We don't really use them, not that often anymore, but they look pretty when they're on and they look pretty when they're off, so. Moving over here to the giant window, proud of for doing. Um, yes, here um, is my plant stand. Um, I don't have that many plants anymore. Over the winter, they all kind of froze, but I do have a few left, and I keep all of their essential stuff down below. Then we have our little um, shark robotic vacuum. His name is Tim. Yes, I drew a shark on him. I also have a few plants hanging up here. Um, and we have a wind chime indoors because why wouldn't you want a wind chime indoors? It just sounds so pretty. Why would you put it outside? And I do have this tiny plant that's supposed to hang up here, but he's not getting enough light. Um, and if you can tell, he's starting to like elongate. So I had to put him down here on the shelf in hopes that um, he will stop doing that. I do have a pirate flag above my window. Don't ask, I don't have reasonable answers. Then over here, we have the TV and the TV stand. Again, I'm sorry for the bad lighting. You're just gonna have to deal with it until we get into some of the brighter parts of the house because we have no ceiling light in the living room. That's why we have the lamp, but the lamp is yellow. So it's the TV stand um, and the TV. Uh, I actually got this TV stand for $5. And the only thing wrong with it is that it's missing a little strip down there and it has a few scuff marks. Again, if you want to know more about these pieces, leave a comment down below in the comments. Let me know if you want to see a video about all my thrifted items and how you guys can get thrifted items for really cheap too. Um, or like household items for really cheap without having to buy them brand new. We do have our PlayStation down here. All the games are in there. I've got some wax melts for the wax melter right there on here i just have another plant a few vases candles cloud mirrors um things we don't talk about um and more decorative pieces before i show you down below i'm going to show you what's on the wall right up here we have a few pieces of art um and just wall decor i got this one and this one for my mom. So there's just a picture of me drawing on my cats there. Me and my boyfriend at our only prom we were able to go to. Me and my boyfriend on a band bus. Um, this is a clock, an Elvis clock. It kinda looks like a record. I got it at a thrift store also. Um, and then I just have some feathers, that's the word. And then we have this little thing over here that I also got at the thrift store. It's just kind of a theme in my house. But it says these, it says two fine people share this house and couch. One is a sweetie, the other's a grouch. Anyway, going down from here, directly under this, we have a dream catcher and we have another table. This actually used to be our old TV stand. Um, we just recently got this other one and we decided to use this one as a table. It did have another bottom shelf here. I don't know if you can tell by like this exposed wood part, um, but we took it out and we threw a litter box underneath of it. Um, and our cats use it just fine. We honestly weren't sure if they were or not, but they do, obviously. Ellie did in the beginning of this video. Um, and I just have a few things up here. I'm not gonna go in depth on this, um, just because it's just a bunch of decorations and stuff. Over here, again, we have another bookshelf with a few decorations. That we have the, the famous yellow chair. Um, nobody ever, like ever, ever sits in this chair unless there's no room anywhere else to sit. It just becomes like a catch-all chair 
like obviously we have a bag part of the curtain not that this chair isn't great but it's just not great for lounging so the only time we ever use it is when people come over and then we have our coffee table it's obviously a mess that's fine my house is a house it's lived in so like I had said directly um, adjacent or across or next to whatever you want to call it uh, the living room we have the dining room obviously we have a table here that we don't use that often just going with the theme of shit that we have that we don't use hi girly cat break looky that's you <laughs> that's you you're so pretty look at her little feet look how long she is she's like a shotgun <laughs> what you see something you want up there all right, I'll put you down. I love you. We've got a few things of wall art on the wall. Um, again, free store, thrifted, 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 thrifted. All of it's almost everything in this house is thrifted or free. Um, and then over here, on this side of the dining room, we have. A few things, obviously, we have the microwave, then we have this shelf that it stands on. It's a metal rack shelf that I got from my mom um, that we put like our chips and our cereal and stuff. And then this just kind of holds some shit that, again, we don't use. So going from this rack this way is the kitchen. So I don't know how well you can see me. Again, it's the one orange light in the middle of the house that just throws off all the lighting. This is the kitchen. Obviously, right next to the microwave, we have the fridge. Over here, here we have this cork board. I got this cork board for like $5 and it's huge. Directly below that, I have this table. If you saw my snack bar video, um, this looked completely different then. Now it just has, it still has the same snack bowl. But it's got a few other things on it and it's not a snack table per se. So if we come into the kitchen a bit more um, and turn this way. The fridge is literally right out of frame. If you see my cleaning video of my kitchen or maybe even my apartment cleaning video. This is the sink. Um, and as you can see, it's completely clean. There's a few things in the dish uh, drainer. But other than that, like it's completely clean in here. So above the sink. We have this little rack that says, the kitchen is the heart of the home. Here I have what is starting out to be my salt and pepper shaker collection. Yes, I am an 85 year old woman. I do find them interesting. I don't know why, but they're interesting. I've got a pear and an apple set. I've got like a cabbage leaf set, um, garlic set. I've got a pumpkin set, squirrel set and an owl set. And that's not the end of the salt and pepper shakers. Those are just the ones we don't use. So right next to the sink, we have this little area right here. Let me scoot you guys back. We have this little area right here. Again, if you saw my kitchen cleaning video, you would see how this used to look. It, the layout is still the same. It's a lot cleaner. Make sure you go check out that video. You'd be surprised on how this kitchen looked before I cleaned it. It was disgusting. So go check it out if you like cleaning content. And then right here we have the stove. We actually just got this stove um, brand new uh, because our other one died and every time we would cook with it, it smoked up the whole house. Next to the oven and stove is the coffee counter. Again, the dining room, walk this way. All of this stuff, there's a few things under there that I didn't mention, but it doesn't matter. Um, trash can, ignore the trash. And then it does open back up this way. And there is a hallway kind of situation going through here. Thing, we have this closet right here. It's just like a linen closet or a coat closet. We use it as a coat closet. We keep all our seasonal decorations up there and a few other things down there. There's more records that we had to go through. 
What you doing? What are you both doing? This is what I have to deal with every day. You're gonna have to ignore the bell ringing because my cat doesn't know how to stop. That's not just normal. That right there is not just normal pills. I want to point that out. Um, we had to get medicine for Chester once. Um, are you after? You need help? Here. Okay. Um, we had to get medicine for Chester once, and after he was done, um, we kept the bottle just in case he needed more. Um, but Ellie really likes to play with it. Um, not more than that thing, obviously, but we threw a few, like, plant rocks in there, just like little pebbles, and it makes a shaky sound, and she really likes it, so. Across from this, kind of, is this wall. Um, this is what I call, call, like, the car wall. Are you going to the bathroom again? You better just be peeing. You went, like, 20 minutes ago. There's the other hubcap. Uh, that's the first one I got. Uh, yes, anything can be wall decor. Don't judge me. So, going down the hallway, um, we have the loaf. I'm sorry, can you just tell me why... You're not burying it. What are you doing? You're not burying it. Ellie. Yeah, it's still there. Well, you got one good one. Good girl. She's, she's, she's learning. She doesn't quite, <laughs> she doesn't quite understand the litter box, I guess. So we went over the wall, coat closet, so the next room um, is the bedroom. These are just cat scratchers, by the way. Uh, the bedroom is dirty, so I'm just gonna like quickly pass over it. It's the one thing I didn't get to clean before having to fill this, film this video. But you know, it's we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it work. You walk in. There's my boyfriend's desk. We have a rug. We have the closet. Um, we do have doors for the closet. But we took them off because it makes the room feel small. And we put curtains up that we can't have fully down because Ellie tears them up. Uh, got a few things in the closet. Laundry. You know, all that shit. So there's my boyfriend's desk. Right next to it we have my old chair. A window. It's all the stuff above his desk. Um, there's the bed. Uh, no, those aren't what you think they are. Dirty minds. Um... Yes, I was one of those people in high school. If you want a story time about it, let me know. Yes, that's my ass. Um, it was a birthday present for my boyfriend. Uh, then we have the nightstand that's obviously dirty. More baskets of clothes that we need to put away. My desk area. Um, and then another bookshelf area. So we're just going to get out of here. We also have another feeding station for my cats. Because it's good to have food around the house. So they feel like they're hunting. So leaving the bedroom... Um, it opens up into the kitchen, obviously. And this way, this leads to an extra closet, and this leads to the bathroom. But before we get to that, hello, um, we have the Polaroid wall. Um, and then I have my mirror right here. Full body mirror um, that I never use. Um, but this is on the closet to, or the, the closet, this is on the closet. This is on the door to the closet. This looks like a mess. But trust me, it's organized. Let me shut this door. And then directly next to this closet is the bathroom. Let me open it up. Our bathroom is water themed. It's the only thing I let my boyfriend choose. I'm kidding. Um, but he did want water themed. But you walk in. Hello again. Uh, you walk in. And we have, we have two towel racks. But we only use this one. Don't ask me why. Um, we have this giant mirror. It's really pretty. We do have a light bulb out, so if the lighting's a little weird, I'm sorry. But we have this giant mirror. And it goes on to the sink. This is just these cleaning things. I was cleaning the shower. Um, so I just put them in here. And I need to rinse them off and everything. But we have my hairbrushes that are a little out of whack. Hello again. Um, then we have just a few extra things over here. A medicine cabinet. 
We have a few more pieces of artwork up here. And then this one behind the door. Going over here is the toilet. Above it we have um, a ship wheel. A cat. Um, this is the, the captain's quarters. If that makes sense. Um, we have the toilet paper there. Not on there because the roll is too big. So we have to keep it there until it gets small enough to go there. Right next to the toilet, all of our soaps. Uh, we do have this shower curtain. Um, th that's the shower, obviously. I don't know what else to tell you about it. The bottom doesn't come clean. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and it just does not come clean. We have this over here. This is supposed to tell like the humidity and the time and temperature and stuff, but it doesn't work because it's thrifted. Um, a cat. This is just a, like a linen closet. This is my first apartment. Um, it's kind of small. It's only one bedroom, one bath. But I'm really proud of it. Uh, me and my boyfriend really like it. It's nice and cozy. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Or just just go, ch go, ch go check out my channel. What's the harm in it? Like, I think you'll like my energy. I'm really tired right now. I'm usually more, you know, popped. Popped? Anyway, uh, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.